Excellent. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and begin. We'll go ahead and take a comfortable seat. And if you're um, comfortable, you're welcome to close your eyes or cast your gaze down. Rest in your hands, in your laps, in your laps, all of your laps. <laughs> the laps all around us. So finding that support beneath you and as you lengthen your spine up towards the sky, And see if you can tap in for a moment to that, to the feeling you get when, when the sun strikes you after you've been, you know, cool. And then suddenly you feel the sun come into you, the light of the sun. As, as we as we get these days now and even it, even here last night as the sun came through after it'd been you know a shower it had so much brilliance to it so see if you can get a sense of that light that shines into you And then can that light that comes from the sun also reflect back out of you in that space of your heart? And in all directions within you And as we each take our seat this morning, may we also notice and feel that presence of others, even though we are all in a different location. Can we each share in that sense of togetherness And as you begin to practice your um, ujjayi breathing with the tip of the tongue resting behind your upper two teeth, and a hollowness at the back of the throat, With that ujjayi, it's almost as if the breath is coming in through the, the throat itself.
You're welcome to release any control on your breath. And bring your hands together in front of your heart. As if by bringing the hands together in front of the heart, you kind of can hold the light. And even at the center of the palms, that space, that space of the light we might hold inside, that space that stays warm, And I'll chant the sound of Om. You're welcome to join me with that vibration of sound and sing this morning Loka Samasta Tsukino Bhavantu. Taking a deep inhale. exhale you're welcome to bow your head towards your heart release your hands and lift your gaze okay so the uh, breathing practice I want to start to with this morning is going to be it'll be the inhale you'll reach the arms up the palms will be wide the exhales out the nose um, and you pull the hands back and make them into fists you don't need to think really about um, the inhale. You're just forcefully exhaling out the nose. Um, it's like a quick exhales. So you can join me when you're ready. Um, to start, I'm gonna just take a deep inhale through both nostrils. The exhale. And the inhale. Five, four, three, two, one, and then you relax the arms. Inhale again through both nostrils. Hold the breath in, suspend the inhale. And then you'll exhale completely. And we're going to do another round when you're ready. The inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. There's the exhale completely. Inhale deeply and suspend your inhale. And 
as you suspend the inhale, draw the abdominals in. So you're gonna to tone the deep belly. And then you can exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more round with the inhale beginning. Five, four, three, two, one. Relaxing the arms, taking the last deep inhale to suspend. Relaxing the belly and then exhaling completely. All right, okay, you can open your eyes and we're gonna come up to standing. So we'll come up to standing. You're welcome to move your blankets off to the side. And then step the feet, you know, about the width of your yoga mat. And just soften the knees. We're going back into that. We're just twisting, letting the arms Come along. The arms might be tapping the body. And then again, we're gonna go back to the exhale out the mouth, that forceful exhale out the mouth. That's quick, like you're blowing out a candle and we're adding the pushing of the hands. Slowly come back to center. Mm. Great. Let's step the feet together and just take mountain pose for a moment. Shine the hand, the palms forward. Take that moment where I'm hoping at some point today you'll be standing outside facing the sun and feeling that that sunlight come into your body, into all the cells of your body, warming you, energizing you, nourishing you. Nourishing each of us. And then we'll let that pose go. Let's step the feet wide apart. Let's get our blocks. We're gonna take um, side angle pose so we can open through the side body a little more. So if you'll step your feet wide apart, we'll go to the right side first. So right foot out, left foot in. A block or two at the right outer shin. And then when you're ready, you can inhale, lift your arms. And exhale to side angle, partial kanasana. Mm, there it is. So as you reach into the, the back outer heel, the back outer foot, from the crest of the pelvis, all the way into that outer foot. And, and can you also feel that space also expand like at the the side of the body that would be up towards the sky. If we were out in the sun and we wanted to get a good, a good sun tan right there, we just wanted to expose that area. How do you open that now? How do you expand it, open it? Mm. 
And then with your next inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. And let's spin the feet the other way. And when you're ready, inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, Parshvakanasana, side angle pose. Deep breathing. And with your next inhale, come back up. All right, we're gonna make the feet parallel. If you need blocks, bring them over to be in that space in front of you. And then take your hands up on your hips. Lift through the top of the breastbone. Mm. So that, see if you notice, even you can close your eyes even for a moment and just bring your, um, your felt sense, your attention to that space right at the energetic heart center. And see if you can notice like what direction is, is that facing right now? And, and with your next inhale, can you give a little lift there? Yeah, and then with your exhale, keep that lifted as you bow forward. Then when the hamstrings say, oh, that's it, go ahead and release the arms to the blocks or to, your, to the floor. We'll keep the spine long here. And let's take another twist. Let's take your right hand. It could be on a block or on the ground into the space between your two hands. Reach down into the right hand. Inhale, start to sweep the left arm out. And notice, is the rib cage turning? Rib cage turning toward the left. And the exhale, slowly come back. Let's switch hands in that space at the midline. Inhale deeply, you're reaching into the ground through the feet and also through the back of your left arm. As you turn, reach out. And then your exhale back to center again. And let's reach out downward dog arms. And again, you're welcome to use blocks or you can reach the hands out on the floor. Let's have the legs straight. Strongly reaching from the, the, the inner knees all the way to the heels. And, and like lease on the, on the outer knee, at the top of the, the fibula. See, notice if on the outer knee, lease, if that feels like there's a little tension there, can you roll the top of that fibula a little, um, so you're gonna take the front of it and roll it a little in. And then we're gonna walk the hands back and shift them up to your hips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Let's step the feet together for a moment. Once again, take mountain pose. And let's, in this mountain pose with the palms facing forward, a lift. Lifting up through the heart center. And 
another deep inhale, and then with your exhale, bring the hands to the heart. And let's actually bring the palms to the heart. Let's take the palms and put them on the heart space. Let's take a deep inhale. And then we'll release the arms and step the feet um, a bit wide. We're gonna take like horse stance. So if you'll turn your feet out, <laughs> a bit out, and then inhale the arms out, and exhale, you're gonna bend both knees. Bring your hands to the tops of the thighs. So how wide do you want your feet so that um, the knees are as wide as your ankles, okay? Make the ankles and the knees about the same width. The, the feet are turned out in a way that the knees are turned, right? So, so that it's kind of like, if you looked down, you would go ankles, knees, knees are pointing toward the toes. Hands can be at the inner thigh. And I can let the shoulder shrug up towards my ears. And then I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna straighten both legs. And inhale, take the arms wide. Exhale, bring the hands forward, palms facing each other, clasp the hands. Let's inhale, draw the hands towards you. And exhale, push them away, bend both knees. Inhale, lift both arms. Exhale, straighten both legs, arms wide. Inhale, take the arms wide again. Exhale, bring the hands toward each other, change the clasp. Inhale, draw the hands toward you. Exhale, bend the knees, push the hands away. Inhale, lift the arms. So weight is the weight in the heels as much as the toes. And then inhale, you're gonna straighten both legs. Exhale, arms wide. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, we're gonna bend both knees, bring the hands toward each other, clasp the hands. Inhale, pull them in. Exhale, push them away. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, rise up again. One more time. Inhale, the arms go wide. Exhale, bend the knees. So the inner thighs lengthening toward the inner knee. Hands come toward each other, change the clasp. Inhale, draw the hands toward you. Exhale, push them away. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms. All right, and then let's step the feet back together. Okay, so the arms are getting warmed up. Let's take um, a strap for a moment. And with our strap, let's make um, a loop in the strap that's about as wide as your arm bones, maybe a little narrower, maybe slightly narrower than the upper arm bones. Okay, that's going to go, oops, sorry, that's going to go behind you. Take your strap behind you and place your um, wrists inside the strap. Palms facing each other. All right. So we're pressing out against the strap. Taking a deep inhale. And your next inhale, can you, can you lift at the front of the heart? And then your next inhale, take the, the elbows back. Reach your hands back. So even as the arms go back, palms facing each other, 
and I'm, I'm pressing out firmly against the strap. Can I still lift at the front of the heart? Yeah. Lift the top of the breastbone. And then exhale, go ahead and release that. Take the strap in one hand. Okay, and then let's sit the strap off to the side. And let's take, I wanna take triangle pose. We're gonna step the feet apart, a block or so, or maybe two blocks. Whatever you need in order to keep your spine long. So we'll turn right foot out, left foot in. And then inhale the arms out. And as you exhale, we're taking Trikonasana. So as you point the perineum of the pelvis towards the back leg, you might take your left hand on your hip. As the right hand comes down to find the support of the block, both legs are straight, reaching from the, the front inner thigh towards the knee, all the way towards the foot, the big toe on the front leg. Keeping that so the weight is balanced in the hips and then can you start to turn the heart, start to turn the rib cage, your heart, So there gets to be a place where I, I really realize like, oh, I need that inner thigh of the back leg. Yeah, you might remember. And then you reach your arm up. The gaze can either be down at the foot, straight ahead, or up towards the sky. How would that light move through your body now? How do the rays of light come from the heart through both hands, from the core of the pelvis through both legs, and also out the crown of the skull? And then let's inhale, come up. And switch to the second side. Inhale, lift both arms. Exhale, triangle. So again, just noticing like how is the weight balanced in the hips? Where do I feel how it moves through? So from the, the front inner thigh towards the front knee, all the way down into the foot, the forward foot. So from the core of the pelvis, then I can reach out both my legs and then start to turn the rib cage. Maybe at the arm and the gaze. The gaze is kind of last because we want to make sure the rib cage is turned. And then, can you tap back into your breathing? Can you reach like from the heart center through both arms, through the crown of your skull, out both legs, long spine on both sides. And then your next inhale, let's come up. And exhale, release, and step your feet back together. Shine the palms forward, mountain pose. Looking for that the light, we're all looking for it, right? And 
And as we, as we search for that light, as we search for it moving through the body and we remember, we remember the first principle or the um, to do no harm, ahimsa, to do no harm, nonviolence. Let's open the eyes, inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow. If your strap is nearby, you can grab it while you're bowing forward. And then we're going to inhale, come up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. And then we're going to take the strap. So you can either pick up your strap or maybe you've got it. You're going to take the tail of the strap. All right, and we're gonna um, inhale, take it halfway, straight out in front of you. And then inhale, lift your arms all the way up. So in this, in here, are you still reaching into the earth, reaching to the ground, lengthening all the way up, up to the sky? So you feel length in the side body, and then go ahead and take the hands a little wider. Bend both elbows. Keep that, keep the reaching into the ground, a little tone through the deep abdominal layer. So a little wrapping of the abdominal organs. And then let's start to take the hands back, the wrists back. Lift the heart space. So, you know, just noticing what happens when you lift the heart center, you lift through the top of the breastbone, you roll the, the flesh up towards the collarbones, so you feel the collarbones roll back. We, at one point this year, some of us, we worked with also how we lift that space at ribs one, two. So you might go back there. How does the, the light shine all the way from the heart out the arms? So it's coming across the front of the chest. A little numbness or tingling is fine. All right, and then we're gonna inhale, start to lift the arms. Fill in that space of the kidneys. And then we'll bring the arms down. Take the strap in one hand. Mm. Okay. All right, so let's, let's open a little through the tops of the thighs. So uh, let's take a blanket. I like to have a blanket and I want that blanket to be there so it'll pad my knees. And so you could be facing forward. I'm going sideways. I'm gonna have my blocks. So you might be at the top of your mat with your two blocks, you've got a blanket. And let's come back to standing. Inhale, Urdha Hastasana, arms overhead. Exhale, hands all the way to the heart and to the ground. Uttanasana, forward fold. You're bowing all the way down. Hands find blocks or they find the ground. Inhale, halfway. And then exhale, step your right foot back. And let's bring the right knee to the blanket. So here, the left knee is forward of the left um, heel. I'm going to take my blocks, go a little taller. And 
and releasing at um, deeply. Oh, it's so interesting. So at the uh, lengthening the, the the middle of the right thigh towards the lower right thigh. And then there is going to be a little tone in the right low belly. So right to the right of the right pubic bone, just a little bit in front of the right hip. So there's a, I want to keep a little tone right there. There's some, a little abdominal tone there as I lift up through the heart space. And then I'm gonna let that go and step back downward dog with my hands on my blocks this morning on any level that feels right. So again, here you are, breathing deeply. Mm. Another deep breath in, and with your next exhale, step your right foot forward. Right foot forward, left knee comes to the blanket. You're welcome to relax the top of the left foot, whatever's comfortable there. I'm going to take my blocks tall. So as you release the top of the, the middle of the left thigh towards the lower left thigh, the lower left thigh towards the knee, and you feel maybe some stretch come across the front of the left hip. That's totally fine. But can you also add just a little bit of tone, a little lift right above and to the left of the left pubic bone, front of the left hip joint. So there's, there's a little tone right there. Then lift the heart. Might even slide your blocks back more. Mm, deep breathing. And then we'll exhale, we'll come back forward. And step back again, downward dog. You can either have hands on blocks or hands on the ground. You might be in puppy pose. That might be a better pose for you. Lise might be using her slant board. Let's see if she can take some of the weight out of the wrist, but it'll really depend a lot on how, how your elbows are doing. Those of you who have your hands on either blocks or the ground, can you strongly reach into the hands? and take your rib cage back away from the hands. And then we're going to inhale plank. And then exhale, lower the knees. Good. And walk the hands back. You can take the knees off the blanket and just come into child's pose for a moment. And just bowing down for a moment to that blessing of another day. And then <clears throat> let's walk the hands up. We'll come up and let's take one of our flying salabhasanas. So you're gonna bring the blocks and the end. And then take a blanket, pad the two blocks. And you're welcome. If that, if you know you like a, another blanket on there, 
if that, you know, sometimes we like more padding and it all depends what kind of blocks. If we're using um, cork blocks, for example, like Evelyn might have cork blocks going, then you're gonna, I would put even another blanket on there. If I've got foam blocks, sometimes I don't need as much padding. But whatever I've done, I'm gonna come and lie over this. I'm gonna tuck my toes under, have my palms um, alongside the rib cage on the ground. That, that I can feel the blocks, they're right about at the bra line. And then tone the inner thighs. Like you, all, you isometrically feel the legs move toward each other. And then let's start to take the arms out and palms face each other. Palms are facing the midline, salabhasana. Tone the inner thighs, keep the inner thighs toned. I still have my toes on the ground. And then I'm gonna exhale, release and rest. And I can either, you know, stack my fists, my forehead, let my knees come down to the floor. All right, let's take another salabhasana like that. Hands, I like to start with palms on the ground, toes tucked under, tone the inner thighs, find your breathing. And when you're ready, take the arms wide and lift the chest. And if you like, lift the legs. And then release that. Hands come down, knees come down. Let's press up and back and take child's pose. And then we'll walk the hands back and let's move our stack of blocks and blankets off to one side. And we're gonna take, um, we're gonna move towards the sun salutation. We're gonna go from the ground. Least, if you want, you could come to standing, that's fine. The rest of us are gonna tuck the toes under, inhale, lift the hips. There's plank, there's downward facing dog. Inhale deeply and let's exhale and, and walk the hands to the feet. Inhale, come all the way upright. Come in all the way to standing, reaching the arms up overhead. Exhale in the hands back in front of your heart. Step forward towards the top of your mat. Grab your blocks so you've got them. And let's move through a sun salutation. So come in when you're ready, up to standing. Bring the hands and onto the mudra. Just touching into that space of your heart again. So even as we take in all the light, to kind of like, like we're, um, we're recharging our batteries, right? We, we draw the light in towards the heart. It's like a solar energy battery to charge that. And then let's release the arms and inhale, lift both arms. So we're looking for this space then to be open, radiant, exhale, bow forward. Inhale halfway, exhale right foot back, 
Uh, hi, it's a lunge right here. Let's inhale, lift both arms. And let's keep the back heel lifted up. So we're still opening the front of the right thigh. Inhale, the arms wide. Exhale to plank pose. And, and so Lise, you wouldn't even take plank, right? You would just go back to um, just the lunge while we're in plank. And those of us that are in plank, we'll go ahead and bring the, the knees down and the chest to the ground. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, all fours. Plank and downward facing dog. Now, can you drop back into your smooth Ujjayi breathing? And then with your next exhale, step your left foot forward. No, sorry, right foot forward. Right foot forward because we're going to open the front of the left hand. Hands can be either on blocks or the ground. Let's have the back heel vertical and come up. Inhale the arms out and exhale bow. Let's inhale, step forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands back and front. your arms. All right. So now I want to do some opening, some more opening at the front of the thigh. So um, we're going to come down to the ground and you might want um, a blanket to lie upon. Maybe you don't need one. Sometimes, you know, people lay on the, on the ground and they just feel uh, like they're more bony the pubic bone or things like that. So first we're gonna just come down to the ground and can you come into a, the elbows underneath? I'm gonna move my arms off my blanket so that they're all one level so that my elbows are shoulder width, my wrists, my fingers. And here, press down into the forearms. Remember that little tone in the belly. So right now, if you feel right above the pubic bones, if you feel your belly dropping to the floor, lift that low belly away from the ground. Keep the low belly lifted up into the body so you're providing more support for your, the front of the sacrum and the low back. And then go ahead and start to lift through top of the breastbone. This is Sphinx pose. The heart. The whole time I still have a little tone in the belly. And then we'll exhale. Let's release. Let's take the elbows wide and rest your forehead down on the backs of your hands for a moment. Of some nice full breaths.
the right grade. Then um, come back up on your forearms and you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna put my blanket back out. So oh, I've got a little cushion there. Can you bend your right knee and reach back either with a strap, you could grab with your strap or grab your ankle and you can rest your forehead down or on the back of the hand. You're just gonna draw the right heel a little towards the right sit bone, but more importantly, lengthen out the front of the right thigh. From the front of the right hip, all the way out towards the, the front of the right knee. And then let's release that. And you might just take a moment to notice whether even as you lie on the ground right now, if, if the front of the right leg and that side of the body just connects to the floor differently than the other side. And then deep breath in, bend your left knee and take your left hand back to grab your left ankle or, or strap. You could rest your forehead down on the back of your hand. I'm just turning so you can hear me better. And here, can you begin to lengthen out the top of the left thigh? So the middle of the left thigh towards the knee, the lower left thigh towards the knee, like as if you could reach the front of the left thigh away from your pelvis. And then let that one go and just both legs down on the ground. You can rest the forehead at the back of the hands again. Okay, so now um, can you come up on the forearms? I'm gonna fold my blanket just back slightly. And what about taking kind of a half bow pose? So in other words, I'm gonna keep my left hand on the floor and I'm gonna bend my right knee, reach back with my right hand, grab onto my right ankle, lengthen out the top of the right thigh. And I might, this might be just enough. I'm lengthening out the top of the right thigh and I'm, I'm lifting through my heart. I might, I might be able to straighten my left arm. And then release, rest. Deep breathing. Second side. So I come up on my forearms. I'm on my right hand forward. My right elbow is a little in front of my right shoulder. Bend the left knee, reach back, grab onto the left ankle or foot or strap, and begin to lengthen out the top of the, the front of the left thigh. And I might straighten my right arm. And then release, rest. Feel where your breath is right now as you breathe deeply. Where do you feel the inhale really expanding in your body? If there were rays of light, could they shine all the way across the back of the pelvis, 
like from, from the sacrum out along the back of the glutes to the sides. All right, and then you have the option of either coming up to the forearms and taking this another sphinx pose. There's a little toad in the belly, same thing that you'll want, even if you take bow pose, where you're gonna reach back, grab onto the ankles, lengthen the thighs out, and lift up. And release, releasing all the way down, making a little pillow, deep breathing. All right, and then slide your hands back. So they're along the side ribs, press yourself to all fours. And back to child's pose. And then you'll walk the hands back. Great. So now, what if we take your blanket and we fold it in half and we fold it in half again and you um, lay it off to one side and, and stack either another blanket on top of that. We're going to take a reclined twist with a little support. So that when you lie down and you've got those blankets uh, beside you, arms are going to go wide and we're going to shift the hips away from the blankets, straighten the leg that's close to them, and then bring the leg across. So you're lying on the outer hip of one leg while you have the arms outstretched. Wow, we, it always amazes me, this twist. And even when you're in this twist, can you bring the attention to if your uh, lower body is going to the left and you're reaching back across the front of the right chest? Can you again soften through that area so that the collarbone? And then the pec major all the way out to your upper arm bone. All right, let's come back to center. And you can either turn your body around or you can move your props to the other side. Arms out wide. Just shift the hips a little bit away from your blanket stack. Straighten that leg and twist. Other side. Could be different. Probably is.
come back to center. Bring the pelvis in center. So you've got the, you know, the pelvic center, heart center, throat center, cranium all in one line. Can you take your blankets that were off to one side? So you, and, and press into your feet and slide those blankets underneath your pelvis. And then let's take the arms wide and bring the knees up. So we've got the upper sacrum on the blankets. And let's take another deep inhale. The knees are falling to the chest right now. And as you exhale, can you take both knees a little bit toward the right elbow? Center. left elbow center and take the knees wide a happy baby i know you have the pelvis lifted a little here so you're just going to take a little bit of a happy baby Knees are wider than the elbows. And then we're going to bring the knees back together, feet together, knees together, feet to the ground. Great. And then let's pick up the hips and slide the blanket toward the, um, toward the feet. So we'll have both legs straight out on the ground now. And we're going to take Shavasana before we come up and take a pranayama. So, resting.
And then you'll slowly allow your breath to begin to deepen. Just begin to awaken your body to movement. And then making a transition over to one side, pausing for a moment. And then using the support of your arms to press yourself back up to sitting. And so taking a comfortable seat we're going to practice the Brahmari, the bee breath, because we are, we just continue to be overwhelmed often with um, the senses become overwhelmed. And that's what this, this pranayama is about more of an ability to turn inward. And so um, the way we do it is just taking the hands up. We'll just take the simple method and, and just get ready. You're going to, take your thumbs to take that little ear flap um, at the front of the ears to plug your ears with your thumbs so that you'll inhale and when you exhale, you're just gonna make the sound of a bee. At the bottom of the exhale, you can you know release, just connect to your breath again and then repeat it. And if you'll do this six times, okay? So if I like to take my hands up, I like to use my thumbs right at that little flap in front of the ear. And with my ears open, I'm gonna take a deep inhale and then exhale, plug my ears and buzz out the mouth, the lips closed. I open the flap of my ears to take my inhale through my nose and repeat the exhale. And so you're just gonna go at your own pace. Five more exhales. You can always rest the fingers just on the skull. At the end of your, your sixth, just taking a seat.
just taking a moment to remember to remember that light the energy of the sun the light that shines within each of us Maybe, maybe we take the time to really allow the light to penetrate into us and out of us. And bring your hands in front of your heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your practice. I'm going to come up and stop the recording.